Hey guys, this is Neil here at Spardella Arms and uh, today we're working on the Doosan Machining Center. I got some vices and some fixtures that I got to pull out. Uh, we got to make some more 1911 frames. So I got to take out the old fixtures, install the new fixtures. Just wanted to show you this process. So here's a look inside the machine. You can see I got some vices and a quick change pallet base in here now. Um, I actually had another vice sitting right over here that I already removed. Um, thinking I'm gonna leave this vice in here because I don't need to uh, move it at the moment. So uh, I still need to take this vice and this, this quick change uh, pallet base out. Um, as you can see, there's steel chips that just get packed into every little nook and cranny and in the T-slots, in between fixtures and stuff. Uh, once, I, once I pull these fixtures out, that all has to get cleaned up uh, and the table has to get stoned and prepped for the new fixtures. So. Okay, so I pulled this other vise off here uh, and I got you at a different camera angle. I figured I I might be able to film uh, removing this picture and, and prepping this table. So we'll see, it's kind of a dirty job, so. I'm gonna jog the, jog the table back so that I can uh, spray it down with a coolant gun and, and clean some of these fine chips off it. You can see as I reposition the camera here, uh, all these chips that got pushed out of the uh, key slots and everything. So I'm gonna wash this all down. All right, so now we've got the table uh, reasonably cleaned off. Um, this, this table is made out of cast iron, and as you put fixtures on it and bolt things to it, um, it can raise little, little burrs or little dings. Uh, it's, it's a precision ground, perfectly flat table. So any if there's a ding or a a raised spot or a burr somewhere. Um, when I bolt the new fixtures to it, it could it could hold them up just a little bit. Uh, so, got a stone here. We're gonna just just lightly stone the whole surface of the table. And doing this, you can feel if you hit a little high spot. I just felt one right here. And what this stone is doing is it's only taking off the high spots. If it runs into a little burr, it stones it right off. Okay, so I got one of the fixtures over here. Um, I have prepped this fixture just like I prepped the table. I cleaned it, I stoned the bottom. I'm gonna set it roughly in place here.
Okay, and the same with the other one. Okay, so I just have these uh, couple fixtures in the machine uh, with the hardware in place, but they're not tightened down yet. Uh, and I've mounted a, a indicator here on the uh, spindle that I can use to uh, sweep these fixtures in and basically get them true to the machine travels um, before I tighten the bolts down. Okay, so I've got the fixtures in. Uh, I indicated them straight with the travel of the machine and tightened the bolts down. So um, now I just have to touch off my work offsets, um, install my tools for this job, and uh, can get rocking. Now keep in mind, this is only one of the machines that we use in the process of machining. Uh, 1911 frames from forging. There's four vertical CNC machines total that I use in this process and a surface grinder machine. Um, it's quite an involved process and it's all so that you can turn one of these forgings into a finished frame. So it's a lot of work but that's what it takes. Thanks for watching.